Quite a few of my recent videos have been about working on the upper register. I'm delighted to say that this week I've had a number of questions about how to get the low register popping. Now we're talking. Hi, I'm Brian from Airflow Music. If you're new around here, I'm a trumpet player and teacher based here in New York City. I set up Airflow Music to publish some books for brass players, and that's something I still do, but I've also been producing a bunch of videos with tips to make brass playing easier for you. I hope you'll consider subscribing to this channel so you can keep up with what I'm up to. This video is part of the Exercise of the Week series. I'm here every Monday with a new exercise for you to practice throughout the week. If you have any requests for an area of technique you'd like one of these exercises to address, please comment below and let me know. Usually everybody's interested in playing high notes, so it's been refreshing that in the last week or two I've had a bunch of questions about how to improve our low register playing. It's such an important component of getting our chops working in a balanced way. Of course, we also need to remember that this needs to be part of our one range too. While I was working on this with a student a couple of weeks ago, I cooked up a new routine that really opened things up for both of us. I've been really enjoying how my chops feel as a result of it, so I'm sharing it with you now. Since I'm horrible at titling these things, I call it the low register focus routine. In common with every video in the series, the routine is available as a free downloadable PDF from the Airflow Music online store. You'll find the link in the description below. Go ahead and download it now, so you can follow along. Now, along with some things to play on your instrument, this routine incorporates an isometric exercise called blocked buzzing. I talked about this in the last episode of Trumpet Pro Tips this past Friday. You'll need to watch that video, if you haven't already, for the primer on blocked buzzing. The link is on screen right now, up here somewhere if you're on YouTube, or in the description below this video. Here's the first line of the routine. On the downloadable PDF, it's in all 12 keys, descending from this starting key. To begin, set your metronome going at 60 beats a minute. Firstly, we're going to pitch the start note by playing it on our instrument. Then, with that pitch in mind, we'll remove the mouthpiece from the instrument and blocked buzz for 5 seconds. That's 5 clicks on the metronome. Then we replace the mouthpiece and play the rest of the line. At the end of the third bar, briefly stop the note with your tongue, but keep the air pressure in place, keep blowing. That will encourage a nice clean articulation in bar 4. Bars 3 to 5 should be played in one breath. I like to play this at a comfortable medium soft dynamic throughout, just trying to play as relaxed and easy as possible. I'll demonstrate just the first two lines, but you should play the entire routine in a similar manner. If you haven't already, download the PDF at the link below and try it for yourself. I really enjoy the way this routine opens up and solidifies my low register, and the way that alternating between blocked buzzing and playing really gets my corners engaged and involved. If you have any questions about this routine, or if I missed explaining something, please comment below. Also, if you'd like to request an exercise to work on a particular area of playing, or if you'd like to suggest any topic for me to make a video about, I'd love to hear from you. 
All the exercises in this series are available for free download. However, if you'd like to support the work that goes into making these videos, you also have the option to name your own price and contribute a few dollars. Alternatively, while you're over at airflowmusic.com, please check out the books and other merchandise we have on offer. All sales directly support making these videos. Otherwise, please hit that like button and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. I'll be back with more Trumpet Pro Tips on Friday, and again next Monday with another Exercise of the Week. I'll see you on the next video. Now, go practice!